Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to adjust the airflow meter flap. This one, there are two types of them flaps. There's a one with the kind of small wire. The second one is the uh, with the screw adjustment. So, uh, wrong settings of, the, of this flap causing the, the engine is starting very hard, very hard to start the cold or, or hot. But the manual instructions say first, before you start any kind of uh, adjustments and everything, check the car should be started with the pedal press small of it we could say a half a press you know keep it press and start the key because the, the um, flaps here all that has to be plenty are going in once your pedal is is, is not pressed you see the the throttle body is closed so it's not much air going that's why probably flap not rising it's hard to start so what I'm thinking is uh, the, the book, service book saying, once the engine cold, keep the pedal, press small bit, and when it's engine, when it's hot, press it fully, keep pressed, keep pressed constant until engine starts. That's what the manual instruction is saying. So you could start with the clips, Jubilee clips, one, two, three, four, remove this horse I know he, he'll be tight and everything else. so I always have a jubilee clips new ones you know set of new ones yes so make sure that there's no uh, side air leaks as you see there's an air, airflow meter showing here and there's a there's a sticker shows that bottom of this plate here it should be 1.9 millimeter plus minus one one you know as you see now this packer here at the edge it's 1.9 millimeter. I make sand them smaller to the one, exactly 1.9. From this edge to this edge, here on the bottom of that flap, not the top here, on the bottom here, there must be 1.9 millimeter. This and this. I think this packer looks like slightly bit lower. I think I make it maybe 1.7. Might be more air, might be easier start. So I just take a chance, I uh, I take it, do a few adjustments and we'll see. Will I get it better or not? I'll be testing. If not, I go back again. As you see here, once you lift up the flap, then you open the valve for the fuel valve. So the fuel, it goes with full power, full throttle, I should say maybe, uh, into the injectors. Yes, so probably injectors now flow in the fuel maybe. So, as you see, the bottom screw, that small bit wire kind of here, not even wire because there's two options like I was saying. This adjustment shows that this one is for the for the screw, for the flap. The other type is with the small wire bent clip kind of, you know, so you have to bend them to raise the flap. A few of you asking, probably thinking, why he didn't remove the six screws here, just the small screws. Yep, lift it up quick. No, I didn't want to because the first thing, I don't have a gasket. This one is genuine gasket, old one. I don't want to touch that because it probably will be in pieces. If I could use any that kind of gentle work for that. So I'm not a big fan of the silicone. So I, I took them off a couple clips and after the clips, you have this view. That's the adjustment, this one really small bit that spanner and this one gently screw in you see that's the bottom of your of your flap so don't go too much uh -huh. as you see very small moves very tiny adjustment yeah I try to measure now, yes. As you see now, I'm nearly there, but I still lift it up small bit. I hope that I will give him more air now, so. Here, I made a wire, like this one, into the fuel relay pump, yeah, fuel pump relay, yes. To build up the pressure in the system, once, once I was lifting the flap, the pressure goes into the injectors and all that gone, so that could be more free because whatever the flap is pressing for the valve re releasing the fuel pressure so connect here 
listen fuel is flowing yeah there's a big pressure now inside and now let's i know that timber looks rough and everything but the study is don't try to press force them them wires them cables you know uh, fuel lines because you see they 34 year old so they tired already work carefully here from the bottom there's my packer now see this edge in the packer i think now it's perfect 1.9 millimeter whatever the book saying i love the books here kind of yes so here we go <coughs> there is a now second adjustment that flap have a small freedom as you see there is a thing uh, that freedom has to be small but as you see and uh, that freedom is between the flap and a fuel valve inside you have to have that kind of small adjustment yeah small bit of freedom yeah but the story is in a four cylinder engines yes with the cage cage tronic cage tronic engine that small bit movement as you see i'm using magnet it's the best thing not pull because that's only small pull as you see in a four cylinder engines that has to be 0 0.5 millimeter half millimeter and not more than three mils in a five cylinder engines that it can be more than 2.1 millimeter that flap can be higher than the edge of this this one is perfect what you could do as well grab by the vice grips more pliers i should maybe not the vice grips vice grips are dangerous cunts here so um catch them pull to the max kind of dump pull them out throughout completely you know i show you and check how the flap is working is it working smooth or not i'm talking i'm talking about that way you see she has to be going smooth up and down if she's not running smooth, she jumping, she seizing. It means that valve inside, inside this regulator needs to be uh, probably replaced for new one. I'll be thinking. So look, I think that's today's job done. About this, I have a flap adjustment. Adjust. Looks like everything's okay. Next thing, I'll be going. For the CO2 emissions, this one here, there's a pipe for the CO2 emissions, but that would be not a team, yes, sir. I'll be testing my flap first, and then I'll be doing the CO2 emissions. CO2 emissions are very important as well for the starting of the engine. Of course, KNN filter, it couldn't be better. Maybe there is a small bit of power, not sure, but I haven't. In case that someone asked me of course i haven't all the connections here hoses everything has has to be clean degrees and tight you know so when this oil and everyone once the oil goes in and out it looks like there could be air going in and, and out as well so all have to be nice and clean degrees <laughs> 